Hey guys and gals, friends of YouTube, Load Fly Helis here. Um, I'm back. Been kind of out of the loop for a couple weeks. Uh, uh, I have loaded a few videos, but I just tinker with those to keep my mind occupied. Uh, you know, two weeks ago, this weekend, I lost my my good friend, and we got him all tucked away, and life must go on. Uh, I'll never forget him. And I'm, I feel very privileged to have had him for a friend for 41 years, and now I have uh, just tons and tons of memories that uh, I can go back and laugh about the things we did. So he'll he'll always be right here in my heart. So anyway, I also want to thank uh, all you guys out there, especially all my really close YouTube friends. I, most of you I haven't met, but I feel like I have, and uh, I just really want to thank you all for all your support uh, through this and. You, a lot of you know how hard it is to lose someone, family member or close friend, and, and uh, this was like a brother to me. So anyway, thank you very much for all your kind comments and your support through this. Uh, got snow on the ground today, but tomorrow's supposed to be 51 and pretty sunny, so we're hoping to maybe get fly tomorrow. But I got a new couple new projects again. <laughs> uh, I'm getting more projects than I can keep up with doing. Uh, I'm still working on my Edge 540. I haven't done a whole lot on it. I need to get busy on it. And then I got the Cessna 182 that I showed you a couple weeks ago. And now I have uh, two more. So uh, we're just, today we're just going to do one. I'm going to do an unboxing of it. I'm not going to do a build video on it because I want to try to throw it together pretty quick today. And uh, maybe fly it tomorrow. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's electric. You guys are going to be surprised. Uh, I think Virgil and and uh, Scott and a couple others, Don, they've been giving me a hard time because I uh, always flew nitro and I'm, I'm starting to get into some of the electrics, but uh, I am liking them. They're, they're a lot of fun. Uh, I've got the Tactic AnyLink adapter on my radio and there's so many of them out there available. It's just TX ready. You just uh, tie them right into your radio and set the throws and go fly. So, and now that's what this one is. It's, it's a TX ready model, but anyway, I'll show you what we got. We'll unbox it and I'll try to get it together and maybe do the maiden flight on it tomorrow. Okay, boys and girls, uh, what we have here is uh, the Fly Zone uh, DHC2 Beaver. It's TX ready model. They have a ready to fly model with a radio and they have a uh, R and RX ready for receiver ready. But I got the TX ready model because I have the AnyLink on my radio. So anyway, I've been eyeballing this plane for a while. Uh, it is styrofoam. It's got a 59 and a half inch wingspan, comes with the floats and landing gear. So we're going to get it unboxed here and see what we got in the box. Uh, got the manual. It uh, is a, a very clear, easy to follow manual. It has lots of very clear pictures. It also has uh, plenty of print that tells you exactly what to do and uh, should not be a problem at all following this. Uh, we got that and then everything in the box is all nicely packed. I've kind of rooted through here so it's kind of messed up but anyway um, it's all each piece is wrapped individually in bubble pack. Uh, we will get that all undone here in just a minute and get to the parts. Alright, uh, we're doing this a little bit backwards. <laughs> we're putting it back in the box instead of taking it out but I had to get all the bubble wrap off of it. Every piece was thoroughly wrapped in bubble wrap. Uh, so we unwrapped it all and uh, we'll kind of go through it as we lay parts back in the box but I am going to put it together today. Of course we got, got the manual and uh, uh, stickers that go on it. See what we got in there. Fly zone, it's got the numbers and uh, the little fish that goes on the tail section. So got those. Alright, got the fuselage. Um, this is the hatch cover for the cabin. It's got three little radio antennas on it so you can get inside there. It's got servos and everything already installed. Uh, here's your servo for your flaps right here. When the wings go on there's a wire that goes through here and you have to mount those. And it comes with the uh, navigation lights already installed on the wings and plane. Uh, everything's pre-drilled. It's got hard plastic. It is styrofoam but it's reinforced inside uh, with plywood uh, in here and uh, it's hard plastic where all the screws go in. Uh, battery compartment on the bottom. 
the tail section, this uh, is a, a little T. When you have your tail wheel on here, that hooks to the tail wheel, steerable tail wheel. When you do your floats, you take the tail wheel off, and then there's some little uh, like fishing line cables that go from the float rudders. There's a rudder on each float and connects to this to steer it. Um, every review I've watched on this is very good. Uh, they say it's a baby to take off and land on land, grass, or water. Uh, even a beginner should be able to fly this plane pretty good. So, anyway, there's fuselage. Let me, uh, let me stick it back in here, out of the way. Um, comes with the floats, and it's got the little plates on top with numbers, and the instruction shows you exactly where to bolt on your your framework. It's got uh, water rudders on each float, so it'll be very steerable in the water. I'm gonna lay these right over here for now. Um, <coughs> Your stab is everything bolts together. All you need to put this together with is a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers and some Loctite. Everything's already installed. Uh, the linking stuff here, this all goes together with a screw and bolts on, so it'll be very easy to assemble. It is all styrofoam, so you have to be a little careful with it. Uh, probably a, maybe a little more delicate uh, balsam covered, a little hard to fix damage, but uh, it has uh, working flaps right here, and of course, those will. We'll hook up to the servo that's inside the plane. Uh, it has uh, very unique hinged um, ailerons. You can see how those are hinged. They're, they're just like a real airplane. It's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, navigation lights and tips of the wings. Carbon fiber rods and all your wiring for your lighting and your servos come out of here. Um, and of course your, your uh, vertical stabilizer rudders hinged. This little wire as you snap it into place it hooks into a little uh, loop in there that's controlled from the servo and of course the other wing both wing halves. Oh, the kit looks real good. Oh, I forgot to put that back in the cabin. <coughs> um, here's landing gear. It comes already put together. Uh, lock nuts on here on both sides so we don't need to check that for Loctite. It's aluminum landing gear struts under here and then they've got the the fairings the landing gear fairings glued to that out of uh, the foam to match the rest of it uh, it says in this instruction book that you can use regular CA on this type of foam uh, there was one thing I found that I want to change or fix the the windshield the only thing I found I didn't care for the windshield is not glued down real good this corner here is actually loose so I'm going to glue that on down we'll put some tape on to hold it and I'll probably use canopy glue since it dries clear uh, CA tends to leave a white uh, milky film when you get done with it but uh, anyway there's landing gear um, this is all the struts and hardware to put the floats together. I'm, I'm not going to take that out at this time because I'm not going to put the floats on it until later in the spring or summer. I will make a float plane out of it. Um, here's all your hardware. It comes with a, a Y harness and your wing mounting supplies, all your screws, tail wheel. Uh, real nice uh, prop. I think I want to say it's a 12, uh, yeah, 12 6 prop. The nose cone is plastic. But it doesn't matter, it's on electric, so we're not going to be putting a starter on it. So, it looks pretty sharp. And of course, that's your Velcro uh, to put in your battery compartment, hold your battery and stuff in. Receiver, ESC, and all that's already installed in this thing. Uh, all I have to do is put it together, set my throws, or bind it to my AnyLink adapter on my radio and set my throws. And uh, it shouldn't take but just a couple hours to put this thing together. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to throw it together today, and hopefully tomorrow uh, the guys and I are going to the field and if it's not too windy, I'll get a maiden flight on this thing. All right. There's the unboxing of the FlyZone DHC2 Beaver with floats and landing gear. Okay, boys and girls, there you go. The Beaver is ready to go. Got the nav lights, landing lights in it. Got the navigation lights and the wings on top of the fuse. There's even one on the tail over here. Give you a little bit of a nighttime taste of the dark with this nav lights and stuff on it. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Landing light. Uh, pretty easy build. Was well, not much to it. Just uh, oh, probably two hours. Uh, you're going to want to probably leave this together. It's going to be one you're going to want to be able to.
transport hole. The wings are really kind of a pain. There's a snap under here to get them done, but to get all that wiring out of there is really a pain in the butt. I had to use tweezers to thread it down through there and <coughs> excuse me and get it to the receiver and everything. But anyway, all ready to go. Uh, weather permitting, tomorrow we will get the maiden flight on this thing, and then of course a little closer to warm weather, spring, I will put the floats on it and we'll get it on the water. But uh, hopefully she flies as good as she looks. The kit went together very well. Everything fit perfect. The instruction manual is a very good manual, very clear. Not, not any problem understanding what to do with it. So uh, other than not flying it, as far as the build, I would recommend this plane for people. It's, it's a easy put together. Everything screws together and some Loctite on the screws. No gluing whatsoever. And uh, like I said, I had it together in two hours or less probably. And uh, all I have left to do is just mark the wings and balance it. So anyway, hopefully we'll get it in the air tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching.